As you guys all know, CCP increased uh, subscription prices um, in May this year, um, very, very significantly to uh, $20 in the short term, right? So um, what, you know, we can only speculate what they wanted to achieve with that in the long term, but um, it was clear that it was some kind of play on the loyalty of the EVE community. CCP has been saying to investors, um, and through PA, through Pearl Abyss, their, their mother company, um, that they have an extremely loyal um, customer base. And increasing a price, you know, inflation, yada, 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 still very, very bold move. I've said it, I've said it this a ton of times. I think it was a, a, an incredibly bold move. And in, in my view, it was a, a wrong move. But anyway, it happened. So um, what this did was it impacted especially the the short term uh, subscription so the one month subscription it didn't impact the year long subscription uh, as uh, as much right so what this led to though is an extreme drop in um, in concurrent player numbers right and i think speculation here but i think that the result um, didn't surprise me but it, i think it surprised ccp in 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 the severity as uh, that that player numbers dropped and so i think we're now at a point where ccp had you know legitimate serious concerns about the direction that the game was going and i think at this point it was you know it was basically at 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 possibly the most critical point that Eve has been in its uh, in its history. So, um, you know, what, um, so what, what are they trying to do then? Or what, what could they have done? They could have done, they could have gone back from $20 to $15 and reverted and said, whoops, we made a mistake, right? And that um, would be, you know, difficult for for any any company to to admit, and um, you know wouldn't be it wouldn't make them look good. It would make them look unprofessional. However, I think a going back to previous prices in light of the dropping player numbers would have brought back a lot of trust from the player community back into CCP, right? Uh, so I I I think you know losing some face and building some trust would have been worth it there but they decided not to do that so um what um what they then uh what the alternative would be is to you know make make a short-term sale because if you increase subscription prices but then have you know sales on a regular basis then you still give people the chance to subscribe to the game at lower cost, right? And here, now, now we're getting to the to the mechanics of the sales. So, what are you? Uh, what 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 can you do in terms of um, uh, in terms of a sale, right? And for that, uh, to explain the, um, the the mechanics behind Plex uh, and Omega Time. Uh, I need to show you guys something, right? Because I've seen a lot of discussion about this on, um, on, on Reddit, and I think a lot of people seem to have a misunderstanding of how Omega Time and Plex is handled from a financial uh, view uh, for, by CCP. And, you know, there's people saying that this is not, uh, not confirmed, that nobody's ever confirmed this, but that's, that's not true, because let me show you something, okay? So if you go, if you go into and careful, um, and careful, this is going to be bright, right? Because it's a PDF as usual. So if you look at, these are the, the, the tax filings from CCP, right? Uh, regular tax filings here this year, Pearl Abyss Iceland 2021, right? If you're saying that it's not clear, right, um, whether... Uh, or, or how Omega Time and Plex is realized in terms of revenue, right? And stick with me here. This is getting a little bit financially nerdy, but this is important, okay? Then that is not true because as you can see here 
on page 14 of their financial filings, right? Um, if you look at premium access fees, premium access fees is Omega, right? The group recognizes revenue from premium access fees on a straight line basis over the subscription period. Fees for the selected subscription period are collected at the beginning of the period. Unrecognized revenues from subscription fees are accounted for as deferred revenues and current liabilities. This means that um, Omega time, the revenue from Omega time is realized in the month that um, that the Omega time is, is cashed in. Basically, if you have a year long subscription, then every month one twelfth is uh, realized in revenue and revenue is the most important is the top line number on the financial statement right um so one is cash in uh which is important but not as important um revenue is the much more important thing right in terms of plex and that's what we're talking about today that's this one right here 3.72 in-game currency revenue from the sale of in-game currency is recognized when group has fulfilled its performance obligation and service has been fully satisfied Revenue received from the sale of unused in-game currency is reported as deferred revenues and current liabilities. What that means, right, is that Plex is only recognized as revenue for CCP when it is used up to cash in for whatever it is, mostly Omega time, right? The obligation and service has been fully satisfied, right? If you buy Plex and it's just sitting there, then CCP cannot realize this as revenue. And that's a big deal because that means that the sale that is currently going on, right? The sale that is currently going on is aimed specifically at drawing out the Plex stockpiles and turning them into actual revenue on the financial statement. Okay, now, I don't know any more than you guys do, but to me, what this looks like from a financial perspective and from a strategic business perspective, this looks like the dropping numbers, the dropping concurrent player numbers and the, 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 the dropping subscriptions of mostly players dropping alt accounts um, that, you know, they had tons of before uh, all this, uh, before the price increase, before scarcity, etc. This drop has been so concerning and it's finally hitting the top line, the revenue of CCP, right? And that means that they presumably needed something to supplement that top line. And the easiest way they could do that is to, it, is to try to get as many people as possible to cash in their Plex, right? The reason I think that this is this is a Hail Mary move. This is a, 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 a something that was decided on a whim is one. This is unprecedented. This, the scale is crazy. 40% off is absolutely insane, right? Of, uh, of, of Plex, Plex to, to Omega. That is, that is, that is crazy. Um, and so, uh, so yeah, one, one is, um, the, the, the scale and, and two is this, this is um, this is hurting. So the, the the high plex price was already a problem for CCP. It was a problem because it was difficult for people to um, to subscribe to the game, and they knew exactly what would happen if they do a sale like this, and and that is the price for plex would spike even more, even temporarily, but it would it would it would spike even more, right? So what what this did. Mechanically, we can talk about it, what, the, what it did mechanically to Plex, uh, to, to Plex stockpiles, but uh, in terms of the financial result for CCP, what this did definitely is it got people to, to either use their stockpile to buy Omega uh, time or sell it to others so that they can use it for Omega time. Uh, and it, it's definitely going to result into direct revenue for CCP in the top line that they couldn't otherwise have realized. Okay. Um, so before I answer chat, I want to show you one more thing. Okay. Um, these, these numbers right here, this, this is, this is all, if you understand the financial, uh, uh, statement, 
But yes, Simpson is right here, okay? This is something that you this is something that's going to help you in the short run only, okay? So this is not something that's going to fix some long-term prob problem problem. This is this is a Hail Mary action that will once turn something turn a li liability on your currency, the deferred uh, revenues into revenues into actual revenues but once that is done that is done right so this is a short-term fix this is not something that is going to help ccp in the long run and so this is something that you do to quickly fix a a temporary a temporary problem uh, with your revenue numbers based on lower subscription numbers right so what do i think what do i think the reasoning for ccp is behind this I think the reasoning is that um, they think they they feel like the current dip is because there's no new content coming out and because the, the content is still a few months off and because people waited had to wait for too long and they basically increased the subscription price without announcing new content and so there the 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 last ditch play here is that they want people sticking around okay with this crazy offer sticking around and making the numbers good enough um, until the new content drops and then they hope that this new content is going to fix the the concurrent player numbers and the subscription the falling subscription numbers to save the game and that is what i think is going on right now on the meta level on the you know outside going in we can go into the game economy uh, in a second here and talk about what this will mean for plex prices going forward etc etc but this is what's going on um this is what's going on in the business world of ccp okay so one more thing before i i will gladly answer any uh, any questions in chat okay so these two things the unrealized omega time and unrealized plex prices um uh, unrealized plex they show up in deferred revenues in current liabilities okay so this means okay this means we can we can look up right we can look up how much unrealized omega time and how much unrealized plex there is we know this actually okay we know this because we can look in the balance sheet we can look here in the balance sheet under uh under current liabilities and we can look under deferred revenue Okay, and this deferred revenue is seven million dollars. Okay, and this is at 2021, 2020, 2021. So this is end of 2020 and end of 2021. Um, let's look at here again. Um, at yep, end of 21, end of 20. And this is deferred revenue right here and this number was actually unchanged so the the amount of unclaimed plex and and unused omega time uh, did not change from one year to the other which is is interesting but it's also seven million us dollars now you might say seven million um what does that mean that doesn't mean anything to me well if we look at the the rest of the financial statements you can see that the 2021 game revenue by CCP Iceland was 63 million, right? So 63 million is the, the revenue they make in a year and 7 million. So a, a fair chunk of that. What is that like? Uh, it's, it's about 10, 10%, 10%, 12% uh, of that um, uh, in, in relation is un, unused plex and um omega time uh that uh, uh that that hasn't been cashed in. deferred revenue is not unused plex deferred revenue is your subscription outstanding you are not correct uh and i'm sorry uh so for for everyone who arrived late i'm going to uh i'm going to show you again that you're not correct okay um, and I hate this is all day, right? All day on Reddit, people say the shit and say that, um, and people claim the shit instead of actually looking up what's going on, right? Actually going up, what's looking on, uh, what what is in the financial statements, 
and not just spreading uh, false information okay so let me show you again where was it page 16 right page what was the revenue recon recognition sale of goods here it is okay in-game currency revenue from the sale of in-game currency is recognized when the group has fulfilled its performance against obligation service has been fully satisfied revenue received from the sale of unused in-game currency is reported as deferred revenue in current liabilities and in-game currency is plex and fully performing obligations is cashing in uh, plex for something for omega time or something else okay now this is this is the meta level okay this is the meta level um let's let's look at in game like let's look at what this means in game okay before i do that uh, somebody won uh th somebody won a raffle congratulations if you want a raffle uh, send me a message in discord um or on twitch and i will uh, send you a skin code to redeem uh congratulations at at, at slamens congratulations Okay, now, somebody just asked, um, why, let me restart the raffle real quick. Somebody just, uh, exclamation mark raffle if you wanna win, okay? Now, somebody just asked, why does a Plex sale make prices go up? This is not a Plex sale. This is an Omega time sale, okay? Omega yesterday was 500 plex now it's 300 plex 300 plex is an unprecedented low price for a subscription okay so what happens is they drop the price this new 300 uh, plex price which by the way it's it's so cheap that uh, that it is it is way cheaper than even doing the one year subscription the regular way and by the way the one year subscription they didn't drop the price off and that's another indication that this is a it's a very very to me it looks like a very hasty hail mary move because it's it, it's it's not a coordinated drop across the board it's a it's a one time three day everyone everyone cash in your plex please to turn it into revenue sort of um sort of um sale right and so what's going on we have everyone rushing to get as much plex as possible to turn into omega time if they're still interested in playing because this is a very 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 cheap way of paying your your new subscription right there isn't there isn't at any point in time there isn't all that much plex out there um for people to uh, to to buy right so when when this happens people jump onto the market and buy buy all the isk possible so they can turn it into omega time now this intermittently it made the omega uh, the the plex price jump to 7 million 8 million because it was just gone before everyone with stockpiles was able to go in and sell and and put all of their stockpiles up on the market for sale which i uh, among other people's uh, people did as well of course because um, this this plex price was just absolutely crazy right so what happened now is that before you were paying around 4.7 million for plex at 500 plex a month for omega right if you were plexing that's about 2.4 billion right if you're only paying 300 the equivalent price would be 8 million for plex and that's where it actually uh, it actually almost spiked to in the in the meantime right so right now as zippo is saying anything below 7.5 million per plex is cheap as long as you only come from megaton that's correct right and so right now there's just a huge run for the next three days because that's the only time that you will able to omega your account for 30 days for 300 plex and so right now there's just an absolute absolute shortage in plex now what will happen after the three days after the three days it will go back to 500 right and everyone and their mother that wants to will have plex their account 
for as long as possible or for as long as they feel comfortable because they you know as depending on how much they like the game or how much they think they're going to uh, uh to 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 sub for right or to enjoy the sub for and so what's going to happen is the demand for plex after these three days is going to plummet right and uh waradu thank you for that uh that that sub man for two months appreciate it too um and so it will definitely it will definitely drop back down because at that point this the sale will not be able to be taken advantage of so so after after the sale ends the the plex price will will drop again but as long as it's going on this is a very very uh, hot um uh, hot plex market thank you uh dankness descent for that prime sub man we really appreciate it welcome to the community and so that's where we're at okay this is a this is a something where ccp needed to turn plex stockpiles into revenues in order to um, make sure that the quarterly numbers don't look abhorrent after a sharp drop in subscriptions and concurrent player numbers and um volvo grease market thank you for the bits and that's where we're that's where we're at um that in turn made uh, the plex price spike like crazy uh, it's going to continue to be a crazy ride for the next what what is it two two or three days two and a half days because any any price any price under uh, as as we just discussed any price under seven eight million is 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 still cheaper than um it will be if it goes back to 4.7 million uh and um 4.7 million a pop for plex at uh, at 500 plex a month so that's all it is okay um again i don't work for ccp i have no insider information all i have is the public information that everyone has and that's their financial statements their tax filings uh and the perlibus uh, investor relations uh, thing and if if you're thinking Right. And this is this is an angle that I know because I know investor conferences and I know, you know, how to manage a business. If if you're thinking that, oh, but that's you know, that that seems like a very short sighted move or it seems like, you know, uh, why would anyone anyone fall for that? Well, investors, right, investors at the Pearl Abyss Investor Relations Conference or whatever, right? Those investors, they don't, they don't go down. In, they're not Eve players, right? They don't look at uh, what does it mean in the mechanics of the game, right? They, uh, they will never, they will probably never go down to that level of detail to understand the company. They will look at, they will very much look at revenue numbers, right? They will, they will very much look at um, revenue numbers over time. They will look at uh, EBITDA, the profit that the company is making, right? That's what they'll be looking at. And this, uh, this sale absolutely fixes that issue. It absolutely fixes um, the, the revenue problem that CCP is about to have from dropping subscription numbers. So in, in a business sense, this, uh, this, is, absolutely, um, this is absolutely fine. Uh, this is, this is um, business as usual. From a game perspective, it's, you know, it's just... Um, a Hail Mary move. It's a band-aid, absolutely. Okay, now I missed a whole ton of chat and I it's way too late to go back and read all the chat. So uh, if you had something to say that uh, was directed at me that you wanted to discuss and I missed it, then feel free to repost it in chat and I'll be happy to answer questions or discuss it here. Thank you guys for for putting up with my monologue there. And the Plex revenue will convert to EBITDA at 100%. Correct, because there's no cost associated with it. Very good, Nev. Absolutely. Um, so this is very, very, this is, there's, there's valuable revenue and then there's really, really valuable revenue. And this is the latter. This also means that less people will buy a regular subscription because they use Plex at the bank. Absolutely. But that's not a bad thing because the revenue realized through Plex um, in-game 
is typically worth more than the Omega subscription. Now that was in the old world. In the new world, they are basically trading that that um, uh, that revenue for future future Omega um, for future Omega. So it's not it's not a, as straightforward as it sounds, but it's you know. I bought 20,000 Plex at 2.3 million, so I'm at bank. Congratulations. Quick question. If I have 1 billion to invest, what should I invest in? That's a question for a little bit later on the stream, but uh, st stick stick with us, sweet Jean, because, um, uh, you know, uh, that's definitely don't buy Plex right now. <laughs> uh, RMT is going to love this. Um, legacy ISK RMTs are going to be cashing in. Yeah, so <coughs> people holding large amounts of um, plex skill extractors um even you know even hypercores went through the roof what about plex a year or two down the road after ukraine donation uh, this and down the road no nobody nobody knows right right now the only way the only way though that plex prices will go down is if 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 people buy a lot of uh, plex um uh, increasing the the supply right because if the demand for plex drops sharply that means that the game is dying <laughs> pretty much uh, and so the only way that the price for plex will drop um in in light of the new subscription prices and everything else is that um people invest real cash to buy plex and that typically happens when people are invested in the game, when people see a future in the game, when people see wars going on in the game that they want to rejoin or join, uh, when people have friends coming back and going into the game and they want to join their friends and destroy ships and, and that sort of stuff. That's when people buy Plex. And that's the only thing that make, will make the Plex price go down. And there's no indication right now that that will happen in the near future. And down the road, who knows? But, you know, I, I wouldn't bet on it. Um, if I added 30 days Omega now, that is revenue. If I add another 30 days Omega, then that revenue will be deferred to October. So this only works for Q3 numbers on the first 30 days. Um, yes, although Nev, I don't know. Um, so if if we consider people buying an omega subscription right for a year then only the first month is real, realized now so that's you know revenue and then 112 is, is realized right now if they're buying a bunch of plex and it's just sitting there then no, no revenue gets realized if they then turn all of that plex into omega then i think you're right i think only the first month again of that omega would be um would be showing right now however they they could be sure they 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 they, they could be they would be evening out future quarters revenue by knowing or by by increasing the number of uh, of of sub month again right so it's a it's it's true it's it's not a it's not it's not necessarily a um only a q3 fix but it's also not a long-term fix it's a um it's maybe a a two-quarter fix right depending on how long people on average have subbed now it's it's a it's a it's a very interesting financial discussion uh matthew hey man wow they can really increase their current ratio if they significantly decrease their def deferred revenue that's right <coughs> Current liabilities are not good on, on the balance sheet. Um, at least they're 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 not. Um, uh, you know they 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 will increase their current ratio, which uh, is current assets uh, over current liabilities. Um, but I think it, that will be less significant than the revenue impact that it has. But it depends on how you look at the company. I think it's a point of no return now. You've lost too much players, and most of them won't come back. I possibly it will hit CCP cash flows. Um, yes it will hit cash flows um there there will be way fewer omega subscriptions in the next months through cash mm. isn't plex gonna keep rising since there isn't reserve anymore um 
Well, it's not going to... That, that's going to de depend on the demand. The demand's going to drop out a lot as well now, right? So the demand's going to drop sharply now because everyone just used all their Plex also. So, you know, it's... Um, I think it, it's, it's, uh, it's going to drop in volume significantly. That's what we're going to see. It was a fun few days, I might say. I even made a bit of ISK buying and selling Plex. Yeah, as a, and, and in terms of the market movement, it was awesome. It was super fun. Uh, so maybe the next move they will make is discount in their store. What do you mean, Der Dervis? What kind of discount? Daopa got a 49k of Plex. Got a 49k of Plex? Through what? I don't know what you're talking about. Sorry. Um, actually, now that I think it, they won't be able to decrease the deferred revenue as much as I thought because of the Omega term uh, recognition. Yeah, but that's going to be, that should be a delayed effect, right? The game is already dead. Dad. I'm dad. I know what you mean. Dead less than one okay in uh, 10k in AUTZ. Uh, okay. Do you think CCP would create Plex right now to hedge uh, ISK inflation? They they can't. I mean, what do you mean by create Plex? Plex is created when players uh, buy it with cash. Do you think that the seven mil in unused Plex they want to use is how much they were down in subs? No, I think I don't think there's a relation. There's not not necessarily a relation there. So just to be clear, a 12 month sub shows up in four quarters. Yes, the more Plex is bought now, the more the levels raise for CCP month after month in terms of Plex usage. Yes. Uh, okay. Damn, this is too much, guys. I can't. I can't. I can't keep up with the chat. But um, let me see. If I miss something, just um, just repost it. Is this stream getting recorded for later watching? I can post this on uh, on YouTube, guys, if you want. Um, I, I I don't usually um, post the full stream, but um, the section on 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 Plexageddon uh, is certainly going to cause a lot of discussion. So I'm I'm going to um, put this on 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 YouTube then. Sure. Um, yeah, it doesn't get recorded for long term because I'm not a uh, I'm not a Twitch partner. Is skill inject? That's that's the question. Crunchy Taco Boo Boo, amazing name. Crunchy Taco Boo Boo. He's got he's he's asking the right question. What will happen to skill injectors? And uh, that's a good question. Let's let's go check it out. Um, oh, by the way, somebody won a won a raffle, right? Um, Whoever won that raffle. Mr. Ganja Kush. Jeez, you guys. What's up with the names today? Mr. Ganja Kush. Congratulations, man, on winning a Scope Syndication skin. Make sure you send me a message on Discord or on Twitch, and I will send you in return a skin code. Uh, and we're going to start another raffle here. Boom, there we go. Another raffle. Now, um, 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 we, we don't want to go here. We want to go there. We want to go there and we want to go here because this is the this is the really funny thing now right so if we're talking large skill injectors large skill injectors are one completely decoupled from the plex price right now right so if if you historically speaking the the plex price and the skill injector price were connected Right? right now, what we're seeing is we're seeing a Plex price that is 90% above yearly average, and we're seeing skill injector prices that are only 30% over 52 week uh, averages. Uh, averages. Uh, right? So that's, that's, that's very strange. And there's several reasons why, why that is going on. We can talk about that. But one impact of this Plex sale is also that. Right now, you basically you can't you can't skill farm, right? Skill farm is so crazy expensive because you can't afford the 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 the, the plex really, right? In terms of outs in terms of outside of this 
like uh, the sale, right? Not with the sale. Obviously, with the sale, the this this whole like plex cost is is actually going down and is cheaper than before. But this is talking, you know, in the in the long run, um, uh, this um, the skill injector uh, market is in, in in deep trouble, right? So I still think, and I've said this in the past, um, in 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 the past uh, uh, months, I've I've been saying that. I do think that skill injector prices are going to be uh, rising. It's going to be a lagged uh, increase, but it's going to be rising because it's just, despite the sale, it's been unprofitable for so long that these these large skill injectors are just not being produced nearly enough to um, uh, compare to how how they used to. Right now, what's going on at the same time, though? Uh, is that you are also going to see much less um, demand for skill points in an environment where people are not um, playing as much as they used to, right? So in a, in a time where people are waiting for content, in a time where people are uh, unsure about the future of the game, uh, that is not a time when people are going to buy uh, skill ejectors in, in large quantities. And, um, you know, I, I, I still sell them. I'm, I'm one of the largest skill injector dealers in the game. I'm, I'm very, very sure of it. Um, and I'm, I, still, I still sell them. I even buy them sometimes. But, um, you know, it's the, the, in terms of volume, it's not nearly where we, where we used to be. Right? So um, that's, 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 that's why I, uh, you know, to answer your question... I do think skill injectors will are due for a price increase uh, very soon. Um, some of that will also depend on the, the 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 size of the crash, the plex crash that will happen on Tuesday. So on Tuesday, uh, the plex price should uh, crash down, um, presumably back to 4.7 million, um, maybe even a little bit more, if. Um, the demand just falls away because everyone that wanted to um, subscribe actually just already subscribed at 300 plex and not 500. Will be a boost uh, in injectors with new ships coming short term. That's that's possible. So when new ships come in, uh, that might that might uh, boost the demand a little bit. That's right. Crunchy taco boo boo. You're welcome. Uh, how? Yeah, I don't not done what don't want to ask. Okay, you love tacos. I love tacos, man. Who doesn't? Um, the new ships use existing skills. So okay. Yeah, I'm the I'm the wrong person to ask about ship skills, man. Don't have them. Don't need them. Oz, will we ever get this spreadsheet template? Yeah, I don't know, man. Well, this one, this one, this one, every anyone can have. Like, do you guys want this one? I can, I can publish this one. This is easy. Uh, it's this one that I won't give out. I can give you guys this one. Do you guys want the the skill farming calculation sheet? That's not a secret. You can have that. There's there's actually a website that does this. Um. um yeah. Somebody, somebody posts that there's a website. Ah, I don't, I don't know what it's called uh, again. Um, in, I'll post it on the Discord. Um, there's a website that uh, that that shows this exact calculation up to the minute, so uh, you guys can uh, can. Um, by the way, this is this is my Discord. If you want to join, join like 5,000 trading nerds from the EVE universe, then that's the Discord server to be uh, in. I just posted the um, the link. Oh, the website is dead. Planet Joe. Okay. Well, I can I can put this out there. That's no that's no problem. Okay. So, that's any more questions regarding Plexageddon? The sheet is also wrong. Plex cost per account at 7.7 .7 million. 
Well, this is uh, depending on what you consider. Um, uh, this uh, depending on whether you consider the current sale or not. But it, obviously, it it fluctuates, right? Um, what should CCP have done instead, in your opinion? Um, I think CCP should have uh, rolled back subscription prices uh, to to um, to fight the. I think that would have built up trust back in the community and I think it would have uh, won subscriptions back in a much more financially effective way than what happened now. What happened now is um, they, they, you know, they were, they had their backs to the wall, they needed to find revenue so they, uh, they converted Plex, deferred revenue from Plex uh, to revenue through an insane sale. But what they should have done is fix the long-term problem. The long-term problem is uh, the drop in subscriptions and a big part of the drop in subscription numbers is um, is the, the the twenty dollar subscription and I think they should have um, they should have walked back their price. They basically borrowed revenue from future CCP. Yeah. Yeah, and I and I think this doesn't fix the problem at all. So um, this doesn't this doesn't uh, fix it. This is just a financial play. Um, you know this 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 basically it it convinces people to stick with to stick with the game through a through through basically a a 3 day you know high pressure deadline sale um instead of fixing the long term problem that uh, nobody is going to be paying in the long run 20 dollars to play this game for a one month subscription. People are going to, but in the long term, you you have to deliver you have to deliver an insanely good game, which is insanely hard to do on a 19-year-old game, okay? You have to develop an insanely good game for 20 bucks. And um and you know, if in, in order to do that, you have to release new content and we we haven't seen that in a long time. We haven't seen new content in a very long time. And so a, a price increase in May in a phase where you you had just you had a fan fest that didn't announce anything concrete with a release date, a uh, an expansion that is now coming six months later with, you know, to some good content, to some underwhelming content, depending on where you stand. And so um, this is to me not the right move the price increase wasn't the right move uh, i think it cost them way more money than it made um so uh, you know and and this 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 sale is um this sale is a is a band-aid as somebody called it in chat earlier i've been in the game only 18 months and believe me it's an insanely great game it is um it's an insanely great game um period right the problem is that if you've been only playing for 18 months then you're still in you 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 might still be in the honeymoon phase if you've been playing like a lot of us for 19 years then um there's you know different different things you expect um a different you know level of uh, new new content um and the new wears off right it um it, it wears off and uh, and and it depends a lot on um, you know new content brings players to the game and it brings players back into the game in the absence of wars so wars bring people back to the game and new content brings people back to the game and if that doesn't happen um, and you get into a downward spiral of people leaving the game people play Eve because they're 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 friends you know internet friends or real friends mostly internet friends play Eve not because um, and because of the, the, the storylines not not because 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 and forgive me not because CCP does a great job every single day that yeah that that is that might be the case you know on a lot of days but uh, that's that's not at this point what's what's keeping the game alive mmos require people yeah when ships are too hard and too expensive to make why risk them in wars well that's uh, uh in terms of capitals yeah absolutely 
Any business runs down of content or service drops, CCP must realize this and they need to step it up ASAP. I mean, I, I, I don't think they, they can. Um, I think that if CCP, like the, the situation in May was serious, right? At, at FanFest, it was a serious, it was a fairly serious situation. Um, and they must have realized that they had to, they had to deliver something, they had to announce something big and they they knew that at FanFest they had to fire everything they had. They had to blow people away. And, you know, there's there's differing opinions about FanFest. Some people liked it, some people were disappointed, whatever. But I think we all agree that it wasn't the most amazing announcement of new content ever. Correct? Um, and so, if they had it, they would have announced it. And so they, they didn't. And you also knew that if they had it, they would release it as soon as possible because they know they knew they were on borrowed time. They knew that you the decline in subscription and numbers and player numbers had already started. So it wasn't a good it wasn't a a, a great situation for the game. And so I'm convinced that November is apparently the quickest they could possibly launch any new content. And, you know, I'm not a developer, so I don't know what their development cycle is, but it's, it's not, it's not like they had an ace up their sleeve. They just, they just didn't. And this is the best that they can do uh, because they, they know how serious it is. This sale shows that they know how freaking serious the situation is. And if they, if they had an ace up their sleeve, they, they would have played it and they, and they didn't. And so... Here we are and i don't i don't know what that i don't know what that means um you know i hope i hope november comes and everyone's blown away but um we'll see personally it feels like ccp started work on the current expansion in january february of this year yeah i uh, as i said i don't know anything about development cycles but um um if I compare the, the the amount of new content to exi other existing games, then of course, I mean it's 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 way less, right? And I'm I'm just guessing their development team is just um, just just smaller, um, uh, and and it's 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 just more in it's just more a game in in maintenance mode, which is okay, right? Uh, than in expansion mode, um, and I'm, I I think they would they want it to be in expansion mode, but it's not. It's definitely not right right now right now they're they say they're saving the future they're not they're not expanding they they are right now ccp is fighting for the future of eve online and so you, be, you best believe they have understood how how important this is um yeah f faction warfare i mean um i wish it was a more i wish the the content coming was a little bit more uh, had a little bit broader appeal i i wish it was something that um and you know it might still be coming it might not might be unannounced but i i wish it was something that um that would bring something to everyone and introduce a completely new concept to the game uh, i don't feel like that is coming i feel like it's a very specific um revamp of faction warfare so i don't know if that's going to be enough to blow people away um uh, you know captain Riker, congratulations on winning that 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 giveaway man um write me a message in discord or twitch here's my discord channel and i'm going to restart that raffle here you go yeah um i bet if your mods did a poll now that fw wouldn't be that much of a game changer to people here but i could be wrong let's do a poll hey mods are you there matthew are you there let's do a poll um let's do a poll right here among our what is it 200 people um do you think the are the announced changes in the expansion, 
um, enough to what's the wording we want to use because it, it should be like blow blowing away is pretty crazy <laughs> um to stay to stay yeah to get you excited again i like that are the ch announced changes uh, enough to get you excited again if they come as they are right <laughs> proper terminology resubscribe or unsubscribe your unsubscribed accounts okay we could do that <laughs> this is not a this is not going to be a scientific study it's just going to be a uh, a straw poll all right all right captain Riker I am um, I pay them out um afterwards okay i don't know how this shows up in twitch um <laughs> third option i don't care um how does this show up in uh, in twitch can you guys see the um the results right now uh, as they come in you can see okay perfect sorry i just see the back end Um, so about 60-40, I'd say. Is it over? Um... 5743 hey that's 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 more than i expected huh put it for two minutes this time thanks matthew um but that's that's very close it's it's close enough to 50 50 right and i mean this is a this this channel is a bit biased towards um station dwellers possibly <laughs> possibly um this is good. 55.45. Look at that. People are excited. So, um... 55.45 is close. Um... I'm bored of Null and 1000 plus Manified, so FW is at least Hail Mary for me also. Cool. I can see me resub at the end of the year. I can't. Cassiopeia, you cannot. Uh, Captain Riker will check Discord later. Sure. Presidents get not elected with better numbers. <laughs> That's right. That is good news considering its focus change. Do you PvP at all, Oz? Uh, I, I have in the past. I don't. I haven't in the last two, two years. Uh, outside of like memeing uh, in streamer fleets or, or uh, on here. On very, very rare occasions. I stay I stay inside. This is not why I I don't um uh That's right. I call this is um in in the sandbox of Eve, right? Um uh, any any sort of um beating beating other people in a sandbox at anything that they do is uh is PVP. Right, so of course, market PvP is PvP. There's there's absolutely no discussion about that. Um, however, uh, in the definition of uh, space combat uh, PvP, um, uh, I I do not. Um, to me, the appeal of Eve Online is the market. Uh, it's uh, it's not the spaceship combat. The spaceship combat actually doesn't. It doesn't interest me much, uh, much at all. Uh, and I've never been. I've tried on many occasions. I've I've been playing this game for a very long time. Um, you know, I just uh, and chess is sports. That that comparison is is wrong on so many levels, dude. But uh, that's that's all right. You're entitled to your opinion. 
I was here on the day on dark. I did on dark, and I whoever whoever got my uh, that one person that that probably didn't loot my corpse uh, missed out on a on a on a big paycheck. The market is good, but not when game changes make them items hold worth. Yeah, I mean right now is <laughs> esports a sports? Yeah, uh, that's a uh, uh, that's. Um... Yes, I think so. Probably. Um, what is the predicted fall price for Plex once the sale is over? 4.5? I don't know. We're all guessing. But yeah. So just thinking here, an extra 4 million units of Plex have been sold in the last two days at $35 per 1,000. That's only 140,000. Yeah, and they have 7 million of uh, on their books, but that 7 million is also unrealized Omega time. So, um, you know, it's, uh, it's a ton of Plex that's out there. Needles are worth pennies, what you say? Well, oh, you're talking about something. Anyway, all right. 4.5, but higher come Christmas. Yeah, it's, it might rise again, sure. We don't, I mean, at this point, who who knows what kind of sale they come up with? So CCP just did an unprecedented sale. So everything is, everything is done. Right, everything is everything is up in the air. We don't know, um, we don't know what they're going to do. This is this is territory that we haven't been in before. If you asked me last week, would they ever uh, make a sale where a month of plex is three hundred plex, uh, a month of uh, omega is three hundred plex? I would have said that's never going to happen, but it did. But it did. Okay. Now, what we're going to do. Um, thank you in in dear for that uh, prime sub. Appreciate it, my dude. Um, let's play. Yes, that item. Okay, let's let's come down. Let's you know. Let's take a breather. Flex is super high. Um, it's all shit. It's fun to trade in. You know, uh, sub prices are going down. But uh, let's forget all that and let's play a little game. Let's play, play 